All right, let's check out that new Beatles track. Dude, what's up, Beatles? What is it called, dude? The Beatles now and then. This has to be it, right? Think so, looks like it. Penrod, a little further context uh, to the background of this song. The last time Paul saw John in the mid 1970s, John's parting words were, Remember me, now and then, old friend. Then, when John recorded this demo in 78 79, he labeled the cassette with For Paul gives a whole new perspective to the song and probably explains why Paul has been so desperate to finish it. Wow. Dude, that's a beautiful background to this. Now let's read the uh, description on YouTube. Move my camera real quick. Now and Then's eventful journey to fruition took place over five decades and is the product of conversations and collaborations between the four Beatles that go on to this day. The long-mythologized John Lennon demo was first worked on in February 1995 by Paul, George, and Ringo as part of the Beatles anthology project, but it remained unfinished, partly because of the impossible technological challenges involved in working with the vocal John had recorded on tape in the 1970s. Yeah, I can imagine that's a... I mean, I don't know the specifics, but it sounds like a project, right? That we probably... And, and I can't even believe we've, we've done it. We've done it. For years, it looked like the song could never be completed, but in 2022, there was a stroke of serendipity. A software program developed by Peter Jackson and his team, uh, you mean Lord of the Rings? And others, dude? Used throughout the production of the documentary series Get Back, finally opened the way for the uncoupling of John's vocal from his piano part. As a result, the original recording could be brought back to life and worked on anew with contributions from all four Beatles. This remarkable story of musical archaeology reflects the Beatles' endless creativity, creative curiosity, and shared fascination with technology. It's shared by me as well. Uh, it marks the completion of the last recording that John, Paul, and George, and Ringo will get to make together and celebrates the legacy of the foremost and most influential band in popular music history. Wow. Well written gosh all right whoever wrote that description beautiful beautiful work can't wait to get into what we're about to listen to and apparently peter jackson directed this music video as well what shout out to everybody dude wingnut films production peter jackson claire olson jonathan clyde paul mccartney giles martin ringo Dude, Paul, George, uh, wow. <clears throat> Have y'all seen this in the chat? Let me know in the chat if you've seen this. Because we're about to get into it. Uh, you have Peaceful. You saw it as soon as it came out. Wow. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Well, we're jumping on a little late here. So let's get into it. The Beatles now and then.
true It's all because of you And if I make it through It's all Oh, gosh. I can't even take in all of this. this. is so much. Seeing everybody, it's just like a whiplash, dude. Seeing everybody aged and listening to this, it's uncanny. It's still, I haven't even registered I'm here yet, dudes. We're witnessing history. A new Beatles song. It's beautiful so far. Like, this is gorgeous. And <laughs> paying tribute to some of the old outfits dude we still have to make our way through some of these albums dude i can't wait this is beautiful god i love seeing everybody look at this <laughs> gosh all right let's just get back into this and uh, enjoy it while we're listening to it for the first time what do y'all think so far Yo, what's up real quick? I want to tell you about Patreon, dude. Patreon.com slash John Slop. Early access to all these videos you see here on YouTube, plus so much more, dude. Full album reactions, full movie reactions, plus you can make your own requests. All right, think about that, and let's get back to the reaction.
can't even believe how good this looked, guys. And sounded. Oh. And then the way they end it, dude, on one of their, like, first ever stages. Gosh. Dude, go check out when I start my Beatles journey. That's the exact video we watched is the stage we ended on just there. Holy crap. Dude, that video looked so good. I can't even believe we got to see so much of them in such like clear high definition. And it was so silly too. They fit in everybody's like silly side. Like what's it felt like I was watching a hard day's night again, dude. If you haven't checked that out, that's on Patreon. That's like a Patreon only thing. YouTube will not let that go on YouTube. So uh, go and check that out. It, you see their silly side just as well in that movie. You see even more of it. You see like a lot of it. Um, so, wow. Fantastic. It felt like a Beatles song. It sounded like a Beatles song. It, I'm sure this will fit into a lot of people's uh, playlists very easily. Dude. Seeing everybody now is just so wild. Good work. Shout out to everybody who worked on this. It's a feat of humanity. We're witnessing history. And, uh, dude, this might... Dude, this is it, right? Like, the four. This is, like, their last John audio that they can take from something, right? Just, um, what are y'all's thoughts? I'm glad you liked it, Klaus. Helping a Hard Day's Night VHS recorded on PBS Telethon. Ooh, nice. Well, that must have been fun. The tape is worn out because I have watched it so much. And Help is even sillier. Oh, they have another movie called Help. Oh, did they use other parts from other songs? Hmm... Well, we'll have to check out their other songs, then we'll have to continue with our discography listen. So, 